Hello everybody, my name is Ellie, and look! It's my Sonic plush! Whoop-dee-doo! Anyways, uh, welcome back to Hush Hush. It's the, f it's the 10th episode, baby! And, uh, we're in, uh, July 12th, which means... Okay, there's also another date to go through, and then... Two more days, and then week two is Denzo. And, uh, sorry if I sound quiet. Um... I have fellow relatives underneath me, underneath my bedroom right now, taking a nap, because we have had a long morning, so, um, I've also had a long morning, so, I just wanted to get that out there before, uh, we get started with this video, so, and, uh, yeah, so we're back with some more, uh, hush hush, and, uh, Again, July 12th. The only thing we can do is go to the hospital, I mean... I mean, what else would you do in the hospital? Taking another walk around town. You pass by the hospital and take a moment to look it over. You can see in the lobby a flock of tourists. with All, all with variations of various vacation woes. Full body sunburns, yikes. Faces smacked by surfboards, each. Someone appears to have consumed a bad coconut. To the emergency room with you. Or maybe another place that's not the emergency room. As you make, as you make to continue on your way, you notice a bottle of prescription medicine on the ground. It reads, take one randomly. Warning, side effects may be sexy. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> There's a single pill in the bottle. This, this, pres the, pff, the prescription is signed, Doctor Tholima and the what? Tholima, what are you doing in the hospital? <laughs> you're supposed to be. N you're supposed to be where no one is seeing you. When you do, take the pill. Pillsier. Despite how insanely reckless it seems to be taking someone's discarded medicine outside of a hospital, you just do it. The medicine tastes better and immediately makes me lightheaded. Yikes. After a few terrifying moments of self poisoning, you suddenly do, in fact, feel sexier. Bing! Nice. A small voice in the back of your mind is screaming at you. Telling you to never do this again, but you manage to ignore it and continue on your merry way. The afternoon. Bing. All right. Afternoon. The mall offers plus one luck and ninety and nine hundred ninety-nine money. Why not just a whole thousand? Home offers more quill time. You need a one plus one tech savvy or lucky. Hmm. I'll just take the mall. On a limb, you decide to stop by the mall and to see if anything interesting is going on. The place is busy, as usual, with tourists making endless purchases of swimsuit, spicy popcorn, and cinnamon buns. Walking past, walking past a series of gashapon machines, promising what appear to be thousands of, off of offerings of toys, stickers, tattoos, underwear, and plushies. Plushies! Like this one. You mull over whether to try your luck and put a dollar in. Um, Let me save it right here. <laughs> Buy one. Bing. Putting a dollar in into one of the machines you, you join the crank and a cute little ball comes out. Oh, I did it! One thousand! 
After a moment of shock, you wonder briefly if you've won a grand prize of some sort, or happened upon a strange money laundry laundering scheme. Hell yeah! You slip the cash in your pocket and depart quickly. Just in case it's the latter. Oh, okay, that's just it. Home. <gasps> we got our first south update, everybody. Um. Alright, well. Save. Here. I'm gonna save it right here so I can. So, um. There's another, um. There's a Cassie picture that you can, uh. Unlock during, uh. When you uh, head to here, because uh, I'm reading this guide here on the on the mobile Steam app, and uh, yeah, and uh, this is the best guide for you to uh, get all A plus on uh, dates and such. Water. <laughs> all right, home is where the heart is. Let's do it. Uh, hold on, walking outside of your house. Waiting, oh, it's waiting, I said walking. <laughs> waiting outside of your house for Alpha to show up. Something on your porch catches your eye. You notice scratch marks on some of the beams supporting the decks. Some look fresh, but some are obviously much older and painted over. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me, I thought that was outside. <laughs> As you're inspecting, you hear the sound of a horn from the street pulling your attention away. There's a lim- A limousine?! There's a limousine parked in front of your house. The electric so it pulled up silently. For a moment, you're not sure if it's here for me. Suddenly, <coughs> Alpha pops up out of the sunroof. Hello! I'm here for a super fun, super normal date. A person I barely know. You look free and not un very unfamiliar. Bing. <laughs> yes, thank you. You look great too. Very great. And very unfamiliar. Ding, 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 ding. I'm very unfamiliar. Ooh. You climb into the limo. And for a moment, you're stunned. The interior is not at all like a normal limo. We're going through town! Oh dude, I wish there was an animation where we can see the entirety of of the downtown department of Sub Rosa. Ah oh, dude, that would be so awesome. Don't let my disappointment get to me. Everything is custom. Ultra high-end. The sound system, the lights, the seating. It's the most extravagant vehicle I've ever seen. This is this is the first time I've ever seen anything that's related to a limousine. I've seen limousines like the exterior, but never the interior. Because this shit is so cool. It may not be as cool as this, but man, is it so cool. Have a seat. There's sparkling water, sparkling wine, sparkles for everything you could desire. I I'm okay. <laughs> I don't want sp Well, I got some water, but not sparkling water. Wait, what's wrong? You look concerned. You have concerned eyes. I do know. Nope, just dazzled by the sparkly nights. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. But let me know if they're making you nauseous or anything. I can turn them down. Cool. The moment pulls out into the street and accelerates surprisingly fast. You turn back into your seat and Alpha loses her footing a little. Whee! Ah! Oh. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Excuse me. Albums always puts pedal to the metal. I'm used to it. Put the pedal to the metal. <sighs> so, what should we talk about on our super normal date? What do normal people usually talk about? Mm -hmm. 
I mean, we can do some more of that flirting. Oh, yes! I like that idea. Two! <laughs> Here, I'll start. Hey there, you've got a nice face. I have already fantasized about kissing it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Okay, now you flirt with me. We're just gonna go there. Bing. Alpha lands in surprise. Alpha's eyes widen in surprise, but she doesn't pull away as your lip lips softly touch hers. Oh my gosh, you kissed me. Oh, is this is this just gonna be plus two suave all all this time? It was so nice and soft, and your breath smelled really good too. Cool. I I wasn't expecting you to kiss me. Um, thank you. Oh gosh, I feel so flustered and shy now. <laughs> that was a really good flirt. Oh, I asked my friends earlier what are the best things to make small talk about on a date. Hmm. They suggested talking a little bit about our personal interests and background. I'll go first. Have you ever heard of Sungaloids? Do you know what they are? Sungaloids. I'm gonna do a Tomar impression, hold on. <clears throat> They're a subset of strong AI based on your cortical? Or is it. Yeah, I think it's cortical. <clears throat> Let me try that again. They're a subset of strong AI based on neocortical engrams optimized for neural stimulation through music. Oh, Jesus. That's the best I can do. Bing. Yes, that's exactly right. Gosh, no one's ever answered like that before. You must be very smart. Or cheating somehow. But probably just smart. I am missing Marty Schmert. Anyway, I used to be a Sunlight, but then I became a real girl. Is that talking about Crush Crush? Wait, now that I think about it, yes, it is. <laughs> process is a bit complicated and confidential, so I won't bore you with the details. Thank you. But yeah, I decided I wanted to keep singing, and I'm still with my label, and now I've had nine number one albums. I bet one of the songs is this sounds like we are number one or something. So that's me. How about you? You're a wonder. I'm on a quest of destiny and dating and stuff. Bet probably would end the day right there. Your story is inspirational. I was speechless. You're a wonder. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah, it's just plus two. <laughs> Not many people know about it, so please don't tell the tabloids about anything. Tabloids. Ugh. Oh, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Where am I? Alpha pushes a strand of hair behind her ear. Shyly, you can tell, even in the sparkling light, that she's blushing. The sudden sound that catches your attention. It sounds like a harmonic chord on a guitar being strummed. Alpha reaches over and presses a button. Probably should. No, hold on, let me see. Yes, Alphonse? Is everything okay? Uh, I thought it was something with the music. Alphonse's voice. Alphonse's voice. Alphonse's voice comes back over the speaker. We've arrived at the pizzeria, Miss Alpha. But there's a problem. Looks like a 120. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Alpha pushes the button to lower, and lower the passenger window, and a sound burst of cheers comes through the, the window. Oh. There's no. 
I am actually glad there's no voice clip. Because, uh... Oh boy. I can already imagine it in my head. Alpha, please. My, my press. That's not the first time I've heard someone wanted to get their breasts to be autographed. Why would you though? Because it would just... I'm not even going to talk. <laughs> Alpha closes the window again. She looks crushed. She buries her face in her hands and moans sadly. Someone must have leaked to the press I was coming. I was hoping to at least have a slice of pizza before anyone recognized me. Damn. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Just a sec. I'm going to get you that pizza. But you but I slip out of the limo through the sunroof and dive headfirst into the crowd. Damn! There's a crush of people crowning the sidewalk. But with some athleticism, you make your way inside the pizzeria. You got two slices of pizza telling <gasps> Luigi! Where fuck Sonic, where's my Luigi plush? It's fucking time. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Where the <gasps> Luigi! Yeah, I have a little I think I'm like choking him in the neck. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Luigi's in this game! <laughs> Let me do an impression. <clears throat> you could have two slices of pizza, telling Luigi to put them on your tab and dive back into the cloud to the peep, to the li to the limo, to the limousine. Trying to pull up the press Luigi accent. As soon as you're inside again, the lim the limo screeches off. Alpha rushes to my shed. You silly goose! You could have been hurt. The first rule of the sunroof is to not climb out. Everyone knows that. When Alpha sees the pizza, her eyes light up. I can't believe you did this for me. You goose. You dangerous goose. Hell yeah, that's my middle name now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I would love to eat this pizza with you. And you do. The two of you ride in silence for a while. The thing of missing out on her normal date is a little obvious. Look around for something and cheer her up. You see a karaoke machine, or at least it looks like a karaoke machine. Oh boy. Take a closer look. There are considerably more buttons. On it than a normal karaoke machine and the controls are not written in a language you can read Japanese text you decide to push a button push the on button push the right button Bing. To. <laughs> Jesus when you push the button, you suddenly the limo bursts into music, lights, and special effects. A super pop pop power ballad comes on, and disco lights start flashing all around me. <gasps> Alpha gas, her eyes still filled with tears, but now filled with a surprised awe. <laughs> you scared me. I wasn't thinking karaoke would be a good idea for a normal date. Oh god, I don't want to do karaoke. I, I... But I guess, since our normal date is ruined, we should aim for an extraordinary date. <laughs> Alpha takes the microphone and starts to sing along with the track. Oh, is she gonna sing? You and Alpha sing karaoke for over two hours, making your way through the top 40 lists for the last 30, wow, 30 years of songs. Alpha laughs and sings her heart out, her voice is pure magic, and after two hours of you break out the sparkling wine, she somehow becomes more and more desirable. 
She's in the middle of the song when her eyes meet yours and stirs something in me. The way she's blushing, the way she winks at me, oh boy. Censorship! Baby, you're all that I want. We're lying here in my arms. Kiss her and more. Boing. You shift over to her and kiss her once. Suddenly, her face becomes wild with nervous excitement. You start to pull. You start to pull off her. Here we go. <laughs> and underwear. And she keeps singing. Finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. Oh, once she's naked, you begin to kiss her body. You kiss her press or sound like every inch of her skin. Soon she stops singing and begins to touch herself, encouraging you to go further. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Um Don't tell my girlfriend. <laughs> da, 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 da. Taking her oh, taking her bum in both hands. And you begin to swirl your tongue around her oh. Oh wow. Oh baby. That feels amazing. Oh. Oh. We're rushing through town. We may get caught. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, please. Oh, 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 oh. And she starts to slow, you quickly climb on top of her and press your own privacy against her. She's wet and warm. It feels amazing against me. That's pretty good. Wait, what? You're grinding together until you orgasm because you've seen each other laughing and moaning. Booyah. You make love for an hour until Alpha finally gets stressed and lets Alphonse know it's time to take me home. You pull over to you pull up to your house, Alpha's cheeks still burning, and she smiles and kisses you on the cheek. Thank you for saving our normal date by being extraordinary. You're welcome. I would like to see you again. I'll message you. Okay. Thank you again. It was incredible. Alpha waves at you, and a moment later, the limo screeches off at high speed, and you go inside. So, decompress. decompression from your brush with fame! Oh, <laughs> I get the. Jesus fuck. Yeah! Ooh. Got ourselves some choices. Don't go to the mall, okay. Uh, let's just get some coffee. So I thought I could do it, and I was very wrong. Those poor chickens paid the price, only to be wasted. Dimitri! Shut your gross chicken eating mouth! We have a customer! Hello. Hola! Aloha and hello! Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. I feel welcome. <laughs> if if there was a coffee shop that had some kind of opening like that, I I I'd revisit it. What can I get for you today? Coffee. Here you are. Have a great day. Motivation plus one. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. 
to the pizzeria and when we show pass Luigi has his own pizzeria! Which always fills you with a sense of well-being. As you approach, you see a small table set up outside with a tray of free samples. There's a sign that says, Cassie, don't eat all the samples, mamma mia. Hold on, Cassie, don't eat all the samples, mamma mia. <laughs> I don't know how good of a Luigi impression that was. I, did, I don't know if that was even trying to be Luigi. There are pizza slices of all kinds, including unlabeled magic squid. That particular slice has black dough and appears to have calamari on it on top. What do you do? You know, slice of pizza. Eat the magic pizza. You eat the black magic pizza. It has a great seafoody taste. The squid ink infused dough is particularly delightful. De particularly delightful. And leaves a black lipstick kiss on your lips. Buff plus three. Hey! Let's hear our stats look. Hey! You feel. You feel similarly infused. The magic pizza cur courses through your veins and you feel stronger. Renewed! You continue on your way, full and happy. Alright. Three events. Alright. <laughs> Let's go to the park, practice your pickup lines on, pitch on the pigeons. Ding. You drop by the park, looking around to see if you recognize anyone, but no one seems familiar. Damn. You feel like you have a couple of hours to kill. What do you do? Go for a jog, get that blood pumping! Put down a tip jar and start dancing. Tap dancing would be a good, good one. Um, practice your pickup lines on the pigeons. You workshop a few lines on the pigeons, which seem pretty, pretty flattered. You get a few odd looks from other park colors, but otherwise you have a great time. Do you think I have enough? <laughs> of course I don't have enough, I need more. After a couple hours, you... You definitely feel more charming. You blow the pigeon's kiss and head out, leaving behind a bevy of blushing birds. Is that even the real thing, blushing birds? Ooh, what do we got? Go to town. Go to town. This is in town. That looks eerie as fuck. That might be a hotel though, but who knows. As you walk through the streets of Sub Rosa, things become surprisingly quiet as night softly descends while there is noise from busy restaurants and bars. The streets leave the streets themselves become oddly still, with a few vehicles going by. As you round the corner, you see a familiar face at the end of the road. It's Cassie. She's leaning against a building with her hands in her pocket. Pocket staring at the ground, deep in thought. It... Thank you for a nice transition. You sneak up behind her. Bump her with her hip. Bonk. Hey, watch where you're going, you lousy! Oh, hey, it's you! <laughs> Gosh, I was thinking for a sec, who's this drunk prick getting fresh with me? Hello. But it's just you. So the answer to my question is... You! You're the drunk prick stumbling into me. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to see you. And I'd love to talk, but I got a thing I'm doing right now. So scram for now. We'll chat later. But babe, I mean, you're looking kind of nice tonight. <laughs> no, no. Don't be giving those amorous advances. Chateau Cassie is closed tonight. 
If you need other accommodations, there are several inexpensive options up the street. Tell them Cassie sent you. There's always vacancy. Meeting up with a colleague of mine. He's the twitch sort, and I don't feel like mixing business and pleasure. So hit the road, Jack. My name's not Jack. It's Elliot, you dick. <laughs> yeah, but guess, I mean, you look... Good tonight, babe. <laughs> yeah. Bing! No. Resist, Cat. Don't fall with this easy mode, low effort seduction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. Dude. <laughs> really gotta. Now, no. I'm gonna tell you one more time nicely. And then I'm gonna start telling you not so nicely. You hearing me? Okay, fine. Pound pavement. I'll make it up to you later. Just make tracks or you're gonna get me in trouble. I'll go, but give me a kiss first. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> Cassie turns to you. Cassie turn tw turns towards me and leans forward. Her hands press softly against her chest and she kisses your lips softer steel. You put your hands on her waist and draw her closer and and what starts a kiss of hazy annoyance becomes something much deeper and tender after a few moments she pulls away and takes a moment to speak again wow okay go away you're gonna give me not thoughts and that's the last thing i need before talking with the company brass just go away or distracting I'm well, out of here. Uh, I'll see you soon. I'm out of here. Ciao, babe. I'm thinking of you. <laughs> God bless. You only give her a wink before you go, which causes just the right amount of angst and anticipation, judging by your sigh. By the time you turn the corner, you still don't see whom she's meeting with, but you have a feeling you sh shouldn't wait to find out. Get the fuck out of there while you, while you still have the chance, brother. Let's go one more day and then one the week. Why not? Up. Uh, lucky and model. Bonk. But the night comes an unexpected chill in the air. The sea breeze is carrying a bit of bitterness. You close the window. Like how it's better outside. July 14th. I think I remember what happens here, I don't know. You dreamt of the guys last night. They took they took you to their bed and made love to you. It was so vivid. You're a little breathless when you're when you wake. Brother Muddle. Ding Bing. July 14th, what do we got? <clears throat> Go to the beach. Sand is already scorching hot when you arrive, despite how early it is. You don a pair of sandals and hope for the best. I don't know with that weird change in the uh, perspe perception, perspective, whatever. Oh Jesus. <laughs> There's a usual crowd of bikini-clad sunbathers and frisbee throwers dotting the beach. The world, the world is your oyster. What do you do? Now you go for a swim. You take a dive into the ocean, becoming one with the water. It's like the new Avatar movie, Buff, Buff Plus Three again. After frolicking in the waves for an hour, you feel content. You dry off and hit the road, feeling a little more buff than when you arrived.
Where do we go? To the park. Why not to the arcade? We haven't been there in a bit. To the park. And as you're passing through the park spot, oh. Well, who am I to want to talk about going to the arcade now? As you're passing through the park, you spot Mio walking with a small group of people. They appear to be playing Pranamon. Pokemon! Rara, you gotta believe me! You have to use the weaker product placement on Clambic, then hold your phone at a 45 degree angle. Why are they playing Pokemon Go? Mio, I ran 900,000 simulations last night on 14 phones. I spent two grand on loot boxes just to get the right number of caramelins. Your assessment is incorrect. I bet you ran those from your apartment. It doesn't work unless you're literally running. Clambake is a fitness type. You have to be burning calories to apply full damage. That's a myth. Fine! We'll settle this once and for all. How about a bet? I'll run around like a lunatic and only use weak product placements. You stand right there, don't move, and use the strongest. Whoever catches Clambake first wins. It's whomever, and your bet is acceptable. The wager is $5,000. Why does it remind me of that one part from... Yeah, it is the first episode of Sonic Boom, the TV show. Where that weird badger dude said the winner will be whomever because... The badger guy, Dr. Eggman and Tails were holding... We're doing a hover hoverboard race to see... Who, who would be Sonic's new sidekick. Or something. It, it's really weird. I, I. Oh, it's on Netflix now, so I can actually watch that episode again and see if I'm right. <laughs> Whoa, that's way too much, Ruri. As expected, you're willing to make a big show of it, but when it comes to backing up your claims, you lack courage and conviction. At least now I have empirical evidence. Whoa, slow your roll. Just give me a sec. My roll never exceeds regulation speeds. And you have five minutes to decide. At the moment you walk up beside me, I'm sensing how... Sensing it's not safe to interrupt a conversation. Oh hey, fancy running into you. Are you here to catch rare Prodamon? Or are you instead a well-adjusted member of society? Well adjusted member of society. Yeah. I guess you could say that. Hey Mio, what's going on? Well, you see that gal over there? Cute hoodie, nice butt. That's Ruri. She's an elite hacker gamer person. Like legit. Ah yes, hacking. She's betting me five thousand dollars whether or not my theory on catching clam bake is right. But I'm so sure I'm right. Clam. Clam chowder. But, you know, $5,000? Why five grand? Five grand is basically all of my savings, which would be dumb to lose, but I know I'm right about this. Murray plays the game much too analytically. There's more heart to it than she realizes. And I think I understand clam bake a lot better than she does. Than she realized. Oh God, get that shit on my head, please. What should I do? I'll front the cash. I just want to see you win. Okay. No, I can't let you put up the money like that. In my face. That would be crazy. I could never forgive myself if I lost someone else's money. Not my money! <laughs> no, I refuse! Nope, not happening! Mm. You're really gonna stare at me until I say yes, aren't you? I was just gonna say, I insist. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine! 
fine. But if I lose, I'm dressing in sexy cosplay and cleaning your house twice a day for the rest of the summer. Shit. All right, Rory, you're on. $5,000 to see who knows the true heart of Clambake. Just a uh, slide that five ran right into her pockets. Boop. In her jacket pockets if she has one. It's a good thing you're pretty, Mio. Because you lack basic reasoning and survival instincts. Uh. Who's this? Oh, hello. Rory, this is the person from out of town I was telling you about. Remember? Oh, yes. The summer fling. Apparently your butt is top ten material. Though I remain skeptical. I would put that top 20. <laughs> eh, maybe top 10. Who cares? Who knows? Rory, can you please get back to insulting me and leave my friend out of this? Very well. Five grand to whomever catches Clambake first. Clam Chowder. <laughs> Say when. When? Go! Neil pulls out her phone and starts running around the park. Rory types on her phone with a bored expression. Oh hell yeah, dude! Hack a prime on server. Cheer me on. Hell yeah, dude! Seduce Ruri. Trying to Ruri, you stare intently at her nose for several moments without saying a word. At first, she doesn't look up, even not noticing or intentionally ignoring. Finally, she glances up from her screen for a split second before her expression becomes annoyed. What are you doing? What do you want? Your appearance skews the med median attractiveness of the general population. Damn. <laughs> oh, I don't know what she's talking about. <clears throat> she turns back to her game. But you think you'd catch the bare smile on her lips. Finally, painted from. For breath, and Mia rushes back to the group, waving her phone triumphantly. I did it! I caught Clambake! Clam chowder! <laughs> Everyone but Rui cheers, pat Mia on the back, and, sh and she laughs a little, a little overwhelmed with, from the positive attention. <clears throat> the chaos I sound a bit, Rui clears her throat. Good job. I timestamped the moment I caught Clambake, and it looks like you beat me to it by approximately 5.9 seconds. Your efforts gained you 2.304% efficiency. Well done. I stand corrected. Only 2%? Also, that's a very per specific percentage. <laughs> Mio cheers, she runs up and kisses Rui on the cheek. L no, I'm not good. <laughs> uh. Germs. Oh, you would germ fall like. Whoever's in the background. Mwah! She runs over and kisses me in the cheek. Oh, cool. And thanks so much to my good luck charm. When all seemed lost, you were the light of hope I needed. Very good. All right, let's go get bubble tea. Bubble tea. Are you coming, Mio? Yeah, I'll be right there. Hey, thanks so much for covering the cost of entry. I'll make sure to get that back to you. You're awesome, just saying. I have no idea why you did that, but it meant a lot to me. I blame peer pressure. <laughs> My pleasure. I mean, it was a super weird flex, but I'm not about to second guess it. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, I got a jet. Thanks again. See you soon. He gives you a kiss and runs to join with her runs to join your friends. I hit the road. Oh, um. Actually, you know what? There are three events up, but the most important one is this one, because you'll get a CG for a specific character that we haven't seen in a bit, so. I guess now would be a good time for me to stop recording my webcam 
and let week two of this playthrough end it on some on some tears that you guys would most likely be shedding. So, and I'll most likely shed some tears again. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure to hit the like button. If you did enjoy, uh, subscribe if you're new. And uh, if you're an existing if you're an existing subscriber, share this video with your friends. And uh, see how much they cry at this scene. I'm gonna stop recording my webcam here uh, and let you all enjoy the final part of uh, Hush Hush Week Two. So uh, thank you again for watching, everyone, and goodbye. So yeah, Mom, everything is actually going pretty well right now. Dad's finally calmed down about the whole Eli wearing a dress at dinner thing, and we've actually had a few decent meals and conversations. Eli and Vance are planning a trip to Scotland next year. Eli wants to see the land of men in skirts, and Vance, well, he's always looking for the next weird obsession. He's pretty sure he's going to be into authentic haggis. And me? I'm doing okay. Well, mostly. The anniversary's coming up, right? I'm always sort of a mess during that time. It's not pretty. This year feels a little different. I'm not really afraid of the storm. If anything, it's almost the opposite. It's that deep fear, Mom. I don't feel it like I used to. Not like when I was a kid. When lightning made me scream. I'm just worried that it means... I'm forgetting you. I know, I know, I know. How could I ever forget you? Even saying it makes me feel like you're going to pop out and haunt me. I just want to feel... close to you, Mom. I don't want you to think I don't miss you. <laughs> anyway, I made a list of all the things you used to do during the summer. All the stuff I was too chicken to do. Jumping the clay banks, racing up Rose Mountain, hang gliding. And the best news, I think I found someone to do them with me, since Eli's a chicken. You'd like them, Mom. They're interesting, and a good listener. Maybe they'll actually help me finish this bucket list. Maybe even the last thing on the list. Okay, okay, we won't talk about that one right now. I know how you feel about it. But I've got to find my own way too, Mom. So, I'll take your objections into consideration. Anyway, I should go. Thanks for listening, Mom. Good night.